Welcome to part three of the Eventbrite Tickets new user primer. By this point, we've set up the plugin, we've installed it, we've configured it, we've plugged our license keys in, and we've also seen the process of creating an event on the WordPress side and sending it over to Eventbrite. We haven't published it to go live, and we haven't seen what the finished product looks like on the front end of the WordPress side, but don't worry. We're going to check that out when it comes to screencast number four. In this screencast, I'm going to show you kind of the opposite of what we looked at in screencast number two, which is importing an event from Eventbrite. That is to say, you've gone over to eventbrite.com, you've set up an event, and now you want to import it into WordPress to create a WordPress event for it. Awesome, very easy to do. While we're starting here on the dashboard of our site, I'm actually going to start off over on the Eventbrite side. I'm going to go into the list of my events. I can pick any event that's in the future to import here, and it looks like I have three to choose from. I'm just going to go with this first one, the Events Calendar's Eventbrite Demo. When I click into the event itself, and I can either look at the kind of edit page for it, or I can go ahead and view it on the front end. Uh, either way, it's going to have the event ID that I need. If I'm looking at it on the back end, the event ID is this string that comes after the slash my event EID equals. And on the front end, it's just eventbrite.com slash event slash then the string. I want to copy that string of numbers. And then I want to take it back over to the dashboard of my WordPress site. Here to trigger the import, I can do one of two things. I can go into events, import event right there from the left-hand sidebar option, or I can go up into events in the admin bar, import Eventbrite. Either one I hit, they're both going to take me to the exact same pace, which is this screen. And this screen allows me to import events on an individual event by individual event basis. Can't do them in batch here, just got to drop them in one by one. But since I have that string of numbers copied, I'm just going to paste it. I'm going to hit go. And when it's finished, it will create a draft entry that matches up with what we saw on the Eventbrite side. Notice the title is the same. The description is going to be the same when the event takes place is going to be the same, and the venue and organizer are going to be the same. The tickets are already published and appearing, as you can see by this down below. The event is associated with eventbrite.com. The tickets are displayed on the page. The event is live, and we can go over and view it on Eventbrite if we want to. We also have all the information about our available tickets, what's sold, what hasn't, right down here in the associated tickets field. If I want to edit the tickets, I can click in here, and if I want to go and create a new ticket, I can go over here. That's the import process. Pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Keep in mind that even though the tickets are live on eventbrite.com, this event is not live. We have not published this event. So while the entry is live, and if I publish it, the tickets will display automatically on the front end. Until we publish it, this draft on the WordPress side is still going to remain a draft. We'll check out how it looks on the front end in our next screencast. See you there.